Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Mood. Here we have interesting algebra problem. We need to simplify the square root of square root of 36 minus square root of 20. How can you do this? First of all, we know that this square root of 36 is equal to 6. And this square root of 20 we can write as, of course, in in a two, three ways. Okay, let's start with 1 times 20, 2 times 10, 4 times 5. The best way to express this 20 is the third way. I'll, why? I'll show it a little bit later. So let's do this. It will be equal to square root of this, this, this 36 equal to square root of 36 equal to 6 and minus square root of I use the third way to express this 20. So 4 times 5. We all know the rule if we have a product in our square root sign we can write this as square root of 4 times square root of 5. So we will have 6 minus square root of 4 times square root of 5. Of course nothing changed, just use rule right here. And we all know that this square root of 4 is equal to 2. So as a result we will have square root of 6 minus 2 square root of 5. Ok, what are we going to do next? Of course I wanted to write a formula right here, because a formula looks like that. a minus b to the second power equal to a square minus 2ab and plus b square. Use a formula. Ok, and I want to write right here that our 6 equal to 5 plus 1. So we will have 5 minus 2 square root of 5 and plus 1. So nothing changed, just write this 6 as 5 plus 1. So 5 plus 1. Ok, what are we going to do next? Of course this is a little bit trick right here and why I use this trick, I'll show it a little bit later. Okay, take, let's write this under this square root sign, under this, this formula. So 5 minus 2 square root of 5 and plus 1. Okay, I'll see a little bit same thing, things right here. Okay, we have 2 and we have 2 right here. Let this square root of 5 will be our a. Okay, we will have our a right here. And how can we create b? Because we have right here that our b square equal to 1. And let's write this 1 as square root of 1 right here and we will have of course the same thing. We will have that 5 minus 2 square root of 5 times square root of 1 and plus 1. Nothing changed, I just write square root of 1 right here. Just multiply this by square root of 1. Of course nothing changed with this and with this and with this. Ok, we have 2 and 2 right here. This will be our a, this will be our b, but we have 5 and 1 right here. But right here we have square root of 5 and square root of 1. How can we do this? And moreover we need to create a square and b square. How can we do this? Of course we can write this 5 as square root of 5 to the second power and this 1 as square root of 1 to the second power. And take a look, we create a formula right here, so this is equal to square root of 5 square minus 2 square root of 5 times square root of 1 and plus square root of 1 square. If we simplify this in the reverse way, we of course have something like that. We'll have this expression and moreover this expression. So this is, is the same like this. But moreover, this is our formula. a minus b to the second power we have. Right here we have a. This is our a square. This is 2. We need it. This is our a. This is our b. And this is our b square. This is our formula. So this will be equal to a minus b square. A is our square root of 5 minus b square root of 1 all square. And I want to simplify this a little bit, so this will be equal to square root of 5 minus 1 to the second power. But this is under our square root, so we need to write a final question because we final expression because we simplified this under the square root right here, but we need the final answer with this all common square root sign. So as a result we will have square root of square root of 5 minus 1 all square. So I want to write a little bit formula right here, because if we have square root of a square to the second power 
it will be equal to absolute value of a. This is, of course, the rule that we need right here. And moreover, this is our case, because we have square root and square root sine right here. We have second power and square root sine right here. So as a result, we can write this as absolute value square root of 5 minus 1. Just use this formula. This is a classic thing, because if you have, for example, 4 square, square root of 4 square, this will be equal to 4. But in our case, we need absolute value put right here. So we know that square root of 5 is greater than 1. So for this, as a result, our absolute value will have a sign plus. So we can write the final answer as all of this is equal to square root of 5 minus 1. And this is our final answer. I hope you understand this, this trick. Nothing hard, just a little bit trick right here. We write this 6 as 5 plus 1. And a little bit trick right here. Just we need to create our formula right here. So thank you for your questions. Thank you for suggestions. Thank you for putting thumbs up, subscribing. I really appreciate it. And see you in the next videos.